Okay, y'all, my bad. I don't know what the hell is going on, but I'm using my business phone to record the rest of the reading because my iPhone, my personal iPhone being stupid. Okay, so last reading I said that you might want to talk to someone about their STD status. Someone has some type of underlying health condition that they're not taking care of. And with the boot and the strength card, knocking the boots, I think a lot of us 80s and 90s babies know what that means. Somebody... This, I feel like something was undetected. You know how when you look at somebody, you don't know if they have an STD because it don't look like it. Um, with the parrot and the five of swords, I feel like someone could also be like talking about it. Like, oh, so-and-so got an STD or someone is trying to manipulate. Either someone is lying on someone saying they have an STD or they really do have an STD. And you're finding about it after you had sex with them. Because you already not the boots here. And you didn't take care of the problem as far as knowing the status. And now someone is coming out and saying, yeah, you know, Henry or Josh had it. Um, the two of swords, seven of cups. You feel all stressed out, very annoyed, very emotional. Because, again, this manifestation, it manifests into something, some type of sickness. So your ignorance manifests into sickness. It's not your fault, though. Self-delusion. You, you just like a lot of people. Like, I didn't know that that person had it. Like, I didn't know, you know... They're burning the the dragon. Somebody is burning. And you didn't know. And now you're finding out. You're hella stressed out. Like, it could have been because of a third party. Someone could have gave you a significant other something. You're going to heal. You're going to emotionally get over what happened. But the, you're gonna, I see you actually educating others about sexual awareness and making sure that you get tested. Because you don't know. STDs don't have a face or a name or nothing. So it looks like you're going to take this situation that you were going through. A lot of mental self is decreasing because you're getting control over. You're going through the five stages of grief. But you're going to educate people and help other people from not making those mistakes. Um, this is a tent. It's only going to be a temporary situation. Not the STD, but the actual emotional feelings about contracting it. The Five of Cups, Prince of Cups. I feel like this man has sex with other men. I don't know if this man, one of these dudes got like the STD and gave it to you. You all could be guys or masculine energy or feminine energy. But I feel like somebody is really devastated because they found out that their partner was sleeping with someone. And they kind of knew. But they didn't want to like jump the gun. So I feel like someone could have an STD and they don't know that their partner is having sex. This guy is very loving. The younger guy, the older man is the one that's sleeping around. And he gets a lot of rebounds and he has a lot. Of, yeah, he sleeps with people in a tent. Somebody could be homeless. Like somebody is foul. Like somebody is like, oh, it could be a big guy too, a giant. So make sure you get people tested. Okay, guys? Part four coming. Oh my God.